What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Now earlier this year, before the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy came out, I made two videos with several ideas for the Insane Trilogy. People really enjoyed those videos, so I figured I could do some based on another franchise. And today we're going to be looking at Nintendo's Punch-Out! Now I know there currently aren't any Punch-Out! games in the works, and we haven't seen one since the one on the Wii in 2009. But before the Insane Trilogy, we hadn't seen a Crash game since 2009, and look where we are now. So without further ado, here are some some knockout ideas I've come up with for a new Punch-Out game. Idea number one, a custom avatar character. Now I know, I know, it sounds completely asinine to get rid of Little Mac as the protagonist. But really, think about it, his story is done. It's time for Doc Lewis to find a new rookie to train, and that rookie is you. I mean, think about it, in the credits of the original Punch-Out, it always said starring you as Little Mac. And you pretty much get to choose your own name that displays in the multiplayer mode of Punch-Out Wii. Mac is basically a blank slate for you to insert yourself over, and he's retired now. And if you really wanted to plays him that bad you could always customize yourself to look like Little Mac. But overall I think it'd be awesome to have the option to turn that blank slate into something that represents yourself as you overcome these intense boxers and crazy challenges. And I mean Nintendo if you ever want to add the option to customize the voice of your avatar character um I could help out. I mean I don't mean to brag but I am a voice actor who quite enjoys making me some fighting sounds. <laughs> Idea number two is a local slash online multiplayer mode. One that's much better than Punch-Out Wii's. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was... it was fun and experimental, but I don't think it was exactly the kind of multiplayer that Punch-Out needed. For those who don't know, in Punch-Out Wii, the multiplayer involved two Little Macs fighting against each other, and eventually one would transform into a big Giga Mac to fight. But the problem though is that when you were both still Little Mac, the controls were very weird and different from the main game. Your punches were a lot slower and jerkier, you couldn't chain together a bunch of punches. It wasn't until one of the players transformed that you could do the normal traditional Punch-Out gameplay. But with a new Punch-Out game, you could fix this problem. Instead of two Little Macs, one player could be one of the regular enemies from the normal game. So you'd still get the traditional Punch-Out gameplay while also adding something new in the fact that you can mess around with the enemy character's moves. And that leads into the next idea. Idea number three, custom fights. Think about it, Punch-Out is very fun and exciting and surprising to play the first few times, but eventually you get really good at it and then you start to memorize all the enemy's patterns. So what if there was a game mode where you could create patterns, presetting the enemy's moves and what time they'll do it, and then having the option to share them online and download other people's patterns. I mean, the online part would kind of have to happen because I mean, if it didn't, you'd know all the patterns you make, so what would be the point? But it would be fun to see all the twists and curveballs people from around the world could come up with. It'd help get a stronger community community for Punch-Out and keep people interested in the game for much, much longer. Idea number four, have a wider variety in the boxers. Now don't get me wrong, the current roster of fighters in Punch-Out is crazy with all the different country stereotypes. But I think they could take it a step further. I mean, those boxers weren't always boxers, right? They had to have been doing something else at some point in their life. I'm sure Glass Joe enjoyed some painting in his spare time, or maybe Von Kaiser used to be a cop. Maybe Bear Hugger was a park ranger. You see what I'm getting at here, right? They could have enemies based on job stereotypes. Like imagine Dr. Dan, but he's a cheater and hid sedatives in his gloves. So when he performs a certain punch and you get hit by it, you'll be stunned and unable to punch yourself, only able to dodge for a while. Basically giving you the effect that you have when you lose all your stamina without actually losing your stamina. It add more depth to the game and more interesting mechanics. Or maybe a clown boxer that will occasionally throw a ton of confetti all over the screen, so it's harder to tell which punch he's gonna do. There's so much you could do with the punch-out formula that I'd like to see Nintendo try out. Idea number five, have Doc Lewis be playable. Now this would probably only happen if they decided not to bring Mac back or use an avatar character. For those who don't know, in the lore of Punch-Out, it states that Doc Lewis used to be a boxer himself. Not just any boxer though, the former heavyweight champion. And it's also implied he had some history with Bald Bull. So I think it'd be pretty cool to get a prequel Punch-Out game to see why he started, why he stopped, what his deal with Bald Bull was, and what kind of other boxers he faced to become the champion. Usually in mentor and student stories, the mentor is reluctant to train the student at first. Like, uh, I don't do that anymore. That was a long time ago, I can't train you. You know, that sort of thing. But Doc is like super enthusiastic to train Max, so I'm curious to see why he still cares so much and why he quit. But anyways, those were the five knockout ideas that I had for a new Punch-Out game. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to do more of these soon. Leopold the Brave, out.